So previously, we built the world's smallest Airbus. We even built the world's smallest Boeing. And even the world's biggest Boeing. But we didn't build the world's biggest Airbus. Until today, I am going to regret this. There's going to be over 450 passengers. Hey guys, my name is Sidney again. Welcome back to another episode of Cavi Crew Simulator here on Roblox, where today your boy is going to be doing the final uh, experiment in these big and small planes. I built a small Airbus. I built a small Boeing. I built a big Boeing. I haven't built a big Airbus, which is what we're going to do today. The world's biggest Airbus is about to be implemented into the game by your boy. And honestly, guys, I've been putting this one off for quite some time because it's going to be so damn big and it's going to take me absolutely ages to complete a flight. But it's your boy. I'm all here for it. We're going to do it. It's going to be beautiful. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more Cabin Crew, then make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new on here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But let's do this, boys. We're going to go and create a flight. And we've actually got to find the world's biggest Airbus to begin with, which it is the A380. And we don't talk about the livery that's on it. It's a good job we... Okay, now we can see it. We don't talk about the livery, but we're going to go customize it. And we're going to add as many seats as we possibly can. Now, guys... Let me know in the comment section down below. I know something about the next update coming really soon in the cabin crew. Um, do you want me to do a video about what I know? What the leak is? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a comment saying, Seniac, you fool, leak. Just write that. And uh, if enough people do it, I'll do a video on it. So first things first, boys. We're going to get delivery right now. And we're going to reset it. Let's just get it out of here right now. I don't want to know. Also, my uh, British Airways and my Ryanair liveries are currently number four and five in the most downloaded A380s. Uh, this one over here versus this one. We guys, keep using the British Airways and Ryanair. Let's try and get them into the top three. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the seat layouts of this Airbus right now. And we're going to make them pretty much all economy. Now, we want maximum seat rows. We want no leg room because it means we can add the most amount of people on. And then we do the same for the upper deck. Most amount of seat rows for economy, minimal leg room. Now, straight away, that gives us 464 in terms of potential passengers on the plane. You can see at the very bottom right now. Amazing. But we might be able to do better. Now, I don't know if I've already got the best seats selected. I'm not sure what seats these currently are right now. But if I go to economy, and if I go on to basic, basic seats, that's 450. Upgraded seats, that's 434. That's actually got worse. Comfort seats, um, 450. So, so far, 450 is the best. 464, so far, is the best on premium. TV seats, did it update? 442. So still the premium seat at the minute. The TV Plus seat, when it updates, 450. And then the final three, the, the uh, sleek seat is 414. That's even worse. Uh, the styled seat is going to be 434. And then the premier seat, boys. I always think like this is the best one. 406. Turns out, no. The best seat for getting the most amount of passengers is the premi uh, premium seat at 464 passengers. It's a lot of passengers, guys. You can tell I'm not excited about this right now because that's a lot of passengers to serve on the plane. It really is. So we've got the maxed out seats. I've got the biggest Airbus right now. We are going to be creating something that is a little bit too crazy. Now, you could make 8,100 big ones on this if everything goes to plan. But the only way I can complete this flight on time and everything go to plan is for something not to go to plan. So let's select it. Right. We'll fly to uh, Tahiti. I always fly to Tahiti. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to select all the food and drinks because it's not going to be me doing any of the work. It's going to be my AI. So I need to make sure that I've got all the best quality stuff selected. Okay. Because I want to make sure I get a 5 out of 5 on quality. Okay, boys. Now, right. Let's spin. What we do we get? 
What do we get? What do we get? A celebrity. Now, celebrity is pretty good. So is a vlogger. We'll go celebrity. We'll go celebrity. Uh, let's confirm that right now. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We'll hire our pilots, which are level 83. The best pilots we could pretty much get at this point. They're all five-star kind of, um, you know, maxed out. Hire my flight attendants. They're all going to work economy because we only really have economy right now. And this is the problem. I can either sit here, spend 30 minutes right now trying to get this flight done, or I could create a disaster where it could hopefully skip some stuff. I mean, some people might get slightly oofed, but it could give me some money. Obviously, we're going to have to then, um, you know, risk having a lower safety rating. But boy, oh boy, would it enable me to get this flight complete a lot quicker. And for that reason, we're going to do a cabin fire. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we're boarding from gate seven. Now, as the army of Seniac clones now spawn in, and two of them are Ryanair employees, we're going to go and find out right now what how many passengers are we actually getting on. 464 I could potentially get. Here is my plane right now at gate seven. Let's see how many are actually getting on. Let's see how many are actually getting on. We're actually getting... Wow! 332! So that means we've got 110 spaces available. Did I just hit the jackpot right there, boys? I feel like I might have just hit the jackpot right now with in terms of getting the least amount of passengers on the biggest Airbus in the game right now. There is literally borderline no leg room. This is shocking. Imagine going on an Airbus and you get on and you realize there's no TVs. You'll be so mad, right? You would be so mad. Right, let me go see if everybody is ready to be seated on the plane. Are you Fulios already right now? I don't think they are. There's still quite a few to get over here right now. So this is the biggest Airbus. We have over 330 passengers, but we do have the potential to have 464. So that would be crazy if you got all of them. That would legit be crazy. But luckily for us, we don't have that happening right now. The only downside is I've got to wait now a gazillion years for all these passengers to get on single file on both upstairs and downstairs. This is going to take some time. I ain't going to lie. We've only just boarded the last passenger. And when I say boarded, what I mean is the last one's walking down the jetway right now. That literally took 10 minutes just to get them all single file on the plane. The downside is having the same kind of class up and down stairs on a double plane. Um, they only board in one line. They don't do two lines like if you're boarding like business and economy at the same time. Hello, ladies but and it's okay. It's okay. Welcome we got there the in the end. Flight. Now, the cabin crew place. have done the food so galleys. We now need to do all the seatbelt stuff, which again, uh, obviously is more... going to take as long as it needs to kind of literally take right now. Uh, I can close the doors and begin and prepare the plane for pushing back and taxiing to the runway. And then the real pain begins serving everybody right now. So do I risk it? Do I push back? Is it going to be too soon? I kind of want to... This is the problem I got. I kind of want to get a good rating so I make maximum money. But the downside is, I've picked the cabin fire, which I'm not going to get maximum rating because we're going to have an emergency and someone's going to get burnt. Probably me. So it's a case of, do I risk ruining two ratings for the sake of it? Of pushing back? What am I going to save? Like a minute? Two minutes, maybe? I mean, they're actually doing pretty good already. You know what? We're going to push back. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to pray. We're definitely not on time, by the way. Uh, when I check my info, we are actually departure time. We were four, four hours, 15-ish um, delayed. All because, this is so laggy, all because they have to board in single fire. There is also an EIJ145 ahead of me right now about to take off. This is interesting. We have to wait for this damn folio, which might save me actually a little bit of time. 
if we haven't done all the um, seat belts and stuff. This floor looks okay. This floor looks... Do you know what? I think we're pretty much okay. I don't think there's any stress. GG, everybody. It's only stressful when you got business and first class and they want drinks. And then you got to do trash. And then... Hey, we've got the all clear to now take off. Uh, that ERJ145 has since disappeared into the sky, which is pretty good. Uh, there was no delays. We are just pretty much all good to go. And then um, this is where the real fun's going to begin. Oh, it's a little bit of a uh, rocky takeoff right there. But we're okay. We're okay, boys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, it's how quick I complete this flight all depends on how quick the cabin fire takes to um, um, reveal itself. And I've got to make sure that I, you know, pull it out as quick as I can. Because if anyone dies, that goes. Apparently, if anyone dies, it goes against my rating. That's not fair. So, I'm going to make sure no one dies, okay? I'm just going to make sure no one dies. <laughs> this is your captain right. from the flight deck. We Let's do this. Cruising altitude. Let's do this. Flight attendants should start their in-flight service shortly. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. So, I'm literally going to do nothing. God forbid I do something and get an incorrect passenger interaction. That will go against my rating. Uh, even though there's going to be a cabin fire. So it's literally a case of just sit back, relax right now, and just wait. Wait, boys, until the cabin fire kind of comes in. Now, it's quite overwhelming when you do like something like this, the world's biggest Airbus with the most amount of passengers on a single flight. It's quite overwhelming with the amount of people here and all these icons and stuff. Um, I mean, they could have just turned it into hard mode and so we had no icons, but that's just not how it works, okay? It's not how it works. So I kind of need to be near the front right where we grab the fire extinguisher. And I can't remember where we actually grabbed the extinguisher from. It's here somewhere, isn't it? Where's the safety equipment? I kind of forget where it's over here. There it is. The fire extinguisher is just over there. So pretty much I've just got to wait here and wait for the fire. Once it appears, we pull out the extinguisher. We put it out and we pray that it doesn't affect our rating too much he says right we wait for the passengers to get turned into roasted marshmallows guys we have a fire that actually didn't take too long i'm retrieving the uh oh it's right here guys don't worry i am the fireman Fireman Sam Yak. Yeah. Right. Oh, the pilots always on fire there for a second, weren't they? Any fires up here? Any fires? Right, this is quite worrying because I can still... Are we done? We are done. Nobody was harmed. This is your captain from the flight. Nobody was harmed. Earth. You guys okay? And we'll be landing soon. You guys Thanks okay? <laughs> So this goes to show how far we got with the serving. We got as far as here, and we got to there. Literally every passenger at this point now, okay, there's a couple here, didn't get served any food or drinks. It shows you how quick you can complete the big planes, um, you know, with having a little bit of a fire. It's glorious. Devs, please don't nerf it. Please don't nerf it right now. But uh, not too many we've got to now clean up, and we should be getting this plane landed and rocking and rolling. Now, we meant to land this plane um, at, let me see right now. We meant to land it at uh, Saturday at 9 a.m. There is a great potential that we could get it at before 9 a.m. or just after 9 a.m. on a Friday, a whole 24 hours before. Now, that's crazy. That's crazy. Just show, goes to show the power of the cabin fire when you're trying to complete flights fast. The only downside is it does give you a negative rating. So, yeah. Swings and roundabouts, boys. There's some pros, there's some cons, but, you know, at the end of the day, does it really matter? No. No, it does not. Right. So, we've completed all of this. Trash is done. Now it's time for the seatbelts. Now it's time for the seatbelts. Now, I don't want to get involved. One, because I'm lazy. Yeah, that's true. We we all know Seniac is so damn lazy. 
But if I get the incorrect passenger uh, interaction, it will, you know, lower my rating. And I don't want that. I literally don't want that. So, they'll go through right now, sorting everybody out. There is uh, a fair few passengers we've got to sort out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Um, seat belts are all done. Nice. First class, which is not first class because it's all economy. Completed it, mate. Completed it, even though I did nothing. Even though I did nothing. How are we doing over here anyway? Are we all going through? We're pretty much blitzing all of this. There's only a few over here we can get done. Um, we'll be landing this plane in no time. In no time. We might actually get there before 9 a.m. on a Friday, a whole 24 hours before we're actually meant to get there. The power of the cabin fire, boys, I'm telling you. If you've got a lot of passengers and you don't want to serve them all, or if you're trying to complete the achievement, cabin fire, boys, cabin fire. Just throw it out there, just throw it out there right now. Intentionally burn your passengers. Um, right, last few here. We're pretty much ready to land. We're now landing. We're going to get there before, you know. Oh, there's a plane right behind me. That's dangerous. That should not be there. Right, guys. These are maxed out pilots. You need to rate their landing. You legit need to rate their landing right now in the comment section down below with how good or how bad it is going to be. Right. Slowly but surely, we're coming in hot and heavy. It's a little bit glitchy. It's only glitchy because the amount of passengers I have on the plane right now, there's way too many. Right, is this going to be butter? Can we even tell if it's going to be butter? Would you say that's butter? These are meant to be five-star pilots. They're meant to be landing perfect every time. Would you say that's butter, boys? It better be butter. It better be. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to skip the taxi to the gate. I'm going to get everybody off the plane as quick as we potentially can. So, hurry up, you fools. Let's go. What are we waiting for right now? What are we waiting for, you fools? Get them off the plane. Right, skip taxi. They're out of here. They're out of here right now. Now we're back to all being smooth. I forget. You kind of literally forget that um, it's the air stairs. You literally forget that. It's the air stairs that kind of... Um, come into Tahiti. We're at the very end as well. Interesting. Ooh, there's some pretty decent planes here. Right. Doors are ready. Open up you. Open up you. The passengers can now get off. Now, I've got to do the annoying task of opening up all the overhead lockers. And then we'll see if our rating of the world's biggest Airbus right now is literally going to be good. I've had to sacrifice a lot of stuff. And I've missed some overhead lockers here. I've had to sacrifice a lot of stuff uh, to get this done because it is just way too many passengers. It's just way too many passengers for my liking. Right, we're all good. We're all good on this side right now. Everything's all done. Just this little section. Completed it, mate. Done, 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 done. Are we done? We are done, baby. We are done. Up we go. There's only four here you've got to get done. and then There's a lot less upstairs than downstairs. Just because the way that the body of the plane is situated. So open all these. Get in here. Hopefully we've opened up all these. And then run this all the way down. And we're done. No way. So we probably could have got... Right, and I'm not even lying... 20, over 20 grand. We got the celebrity tip bonus, which is good. I don't need to give you much, they say. Fools. Um, but 8,000 for the service, 6,000 for the quality. We probably would have got six, an extra 4,000 for the safety ish, maybe. Yeah, we probably, maybe even 5,000. We definitely would have been over 20 grand on that flight. But I'll take it, boys. I'll take it, and I will now get out of here. I never want to see the world's biggest Airbus ever again in all my life. Get it out my face. Now, you boys better get out of here. But if you did enjoy this, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.